Happy learning folks! In today's session, we are going to take a topic and see how can you do a topic based GD. How to put forth the points that are in support of this GD topic and how to defend our points which are against the stand of this topic. The topic that I have taken today is social distancing, the success mantra to stay away from COVID-19. This is the latest topic. We all are living with the coronavirus and surviving this pandemic that is COVID-19, which is affecting a lot of countries. We know some of the information that is coming from the formal and informal media. We also have made our opinions how to fight back this coronavirus. We have been following certain measures such as social distancing such as washing hands and wearing masks and this topic we will see in this session how can we uh, put forth the points how to communicate the points one by one very very effectively for this discussion i suggest you to read and collect information about the following points first is the actual meaning of social distancing as suggested by the World Health Organization, Health Ministry of Government of India, etc. The second point is what are the norms that are followed amongst social distancing by various countries. Third point will be what was the statistical analysis with respect to the number of patients getting cured or dying with and without social distancing as a major followed in that particular region. Based on this particular information, you will be able to jot down certain points and these points you are talking based on the facts, not just your gut feeling or what is your free thinking during the group discussion you can take a stand in support of the topic or against it so let's see if we are supporting that social distancing is a major to fight covid 19 then what are the points well the first point can be countries like china have stressed that social distancing has helped them keeping away from Corona. This is the first point. The second point can be as Corona is a virus that cannot move on its own, you will have to go and in case you touch a platform or surface on which this virus is sitting, then only the virus will come to you. That means if you maintain social distancing, then probably you will not get infected. The third point is that in dense population like India, it is not affordable to have masses getting infected and reaching a dangerous state of health and hence social distancing is necessary even if people are going to get infected with the social distancing there will be very less number of people citizens which will get affected by the coronavirus the fourth point can be we have seen that the coronavirus has spread mainly in dense population areas such as dharavi such as Mumbai Municipal Corporation, Pune Municipal Corporation and etc. in Maharashtra whereas in the rural regions the districts which are away from or which do not have which do not have dense population do not have this kind of a problem. So we can say that yes where social distancing is followed there is less infection. The next point that is in support is along with social distancing you should also follow certain other norms such as wearing masks 
such as washing your hands again and again and lockdown also has helped significantly in cutting the infection spread. Now let us see certain points which are against the topic that is given. The first point is social distancing is not the only means to stay away from coronavirus as it can be seen that the doctors, nurses, healthcare workers are in constant proximity of the COVID the coronavirus patients but still they are not infected all or they are all not dying. The second point can be some countries such as America, such as Spain, Italy did not follow social distancing norms for long. But if you compare the death rate, the infection rate in these countries with, with the rates in India, it is more or less at par. So I don't think social distancing has actually a, a good measure to cut down the spread of this virus. The third point is even if you say that in densely populated slums there is a spread of this virus, not everybody is dying there. People with good immunity in the slums even are surviving coronavirus infections. They are also recovering. The next point is we also saw that in marketplaces in uh, bus stations and railway stations despite of uh, suggesting social distancing it is not possible to obey the social distancing norms in such a country as india so it is wrong to expect that with social distancing we can keep coronavirus infections away the last point that i want to stress here which is against the topic is boosting immunity washing your hands again and again wearing a mask are better solutions than social distancing that's what i think in the next session we will see what is a picture based group discussion an example and an activity based group discussion an example hope you are getting to learn more about group discussions Happy learning!